Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is the Smooth Terrorist here. Uh, I'm actually between computers right now, so I'm going to have to record this video using my little smartphone gadget thing. I have no idea if this is going to fucking work, and if it works, how well it's going to look and sound and all that. I've never used this fucking phone to take videos before, so I don't know. So I apologize if it's fuzzy or whatever the fuck. Anyway, this video is a response to this guy, Matt Larson 10 who recently posted a video about how his, uh, his video about Sheriff Joe Arpaio's speech got taken down by YouTube, and they claimed it was some kind of fucking censorship, or, or no, I'm sorry, they claimed it was some kind of, uh, uh, uh copyright violation thing. I slipped up and said censorship, because that's what it really is. Um, but uh, I can't even remember what they fucking claimed that he, he was violating the copyright of, like some TV show, I think, and it, it just didn't make any sense at all. Um, the reason I'm making this video for Matt Larson 10 is uh, because he said something in his video that really bothered me. He said, what if this is just a glitch? I'm here to tell you right now, Matt Larson 10, what happened to you was not a glitch. It was definitely something that, that Google did on purpose, and I'm going to get into the reasons why. Um, first of all, l let me just get a word in edgewise about Sheriff Joe Arpaio. For those of you who don't know who this guy is, He's basically the clown prince of the uh, Arizona's Maricopa County Sheriff's Department. He's been doing what he does for a long time, just basically grandstanding for attention because he's a fucking ass clown. Um, this guy's the father of the birther movement. He's, he's the one who originally made the claim, I, I think, that uh, 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 President Obama's birth certificate is, is it, why did I call him President Obama? Barack Obama, as if the word president means anything to me. Anarchist, hello. Um, but he's the, he's the one that uh, uh, said that the birth certificate is fake. And, y y you know, the most retarded thing about this, this whole birther thing to me is that, like, there's so many fucking legitimate reasons to impeach Barack Obama. Uh, he lied about every fucking campaign promise he made. He's defended Eric Holder for lying to Congress uh, about uh, Fast and Furious. And, like, that's totally impeachable offenses right there. So I don't know why we have to argue about whether the guy's birth certificate is fucking legitimate. What, what the fuck does that have to do with anything when he's got high crimes of fucking treason that you could impeach this guy for? Um, but whatever. I, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's their thing. The, the Patriot movement loves to fucking talk about the birth certificate for some reason. they got to find a fucking excuse not to like a bad president, of which I understand. But whatever. But Sheriff Joe Arpaio, um, you know, this, this is the same guy who has these, these uh, tent prisons out in the desert where he, uh, he puts illegal immigrants uh, in, in like these 100 degree tents and they gotta, do, they gotta break rocks and do hard physical labor while they're wearing pink underwear to humiliate them and shit like this. Um, and it's, it's, it's really interesting that Sheriff Joe Arpaio is suddenly so concerned with the Constitution of the United States, you know. All of a sudden he's real concerned about the provision in our constitution that says that a president has to be a, a natural born citizen when if I remember a few years back I think this actually happened about a decade ago so you guys are gonna have to stretch your memory on this one but Joe Arpaio is the same ass clown who put checkpoints on every highway entrance into Maricopa County to randomly fucking check people for marijuana when they're coming into his county because he, he took a hard line on drugs and he won't let anybody into his county with drugs. And it had to be, exp it, 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 embarrassingly, it had to be explained to this guy that it's actually not constitutional to just randomly check everybody who comes down the highway and just search their car because that's a violation of the Fourth Amendment. Which, I mean, y you know, and you gotta, you gotta keep in mind, this was before the days of uh, Department of Homeland Security and ICE doing those random highway checkpoints to check for people's citizenship like they're doing now in, in uh, Arizona, Texas, and, and a lot of other border states. But this was before all that. So, so Joe Arpaio was ahead of his time when it came to violating the Fourth Amendment. But suddenly now he's all concerned about the fucking Constitution. Suck my fucking dick. Anyway, that's not the point, though. Um, because, look, as much as I might disagree with Sheriff Joe Arpaio, and as much as I might not be a Ron Paul supporter like this guy Matt Larson 10 is, I am fucking outraged that this video got uh, censored, and that's exactly what fucking happened. It was not a glitch. It was not some kind of fucking glitch. Let me tell you something right now, Matt Larson 10. If you had uploaded a video of yourself fucking playing tiddlywinks 
or, or going to the store with your grandma, or, or fucking, uh, 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 d d showing off your stamp collection, or w whatever the fuck you do, any kind of, uh, there's a million other videos you could have made, that glitch, that quote-unquote glitch, would not have happened. The reason that glitch happened is because you said some shit that Google YouTube wanted to censor. And, you, you know, I get people saying to me all the time, Oh, Smooth Terrace, you just whine when your videos get taken down. You call it censorship. You're just such a whining bitch, such a whining crybaby bitch. No, it's not just me. I fucking get pissed off when this shit happens to anybody, and I don't care who it is. I wouldn't care if it's a fucking neo-Nazi that gets their fucking video censored by Google YouTube, which, when we're talking about Joe Arpaio, that's not too far from the truth. Um, but I don't give a fuck. Everybody deserves their fucking say. Everybody deserves to fucking be heard and get their opinion out there. And I don't support censorship no matter who it's happening to. And by the way, if you want to fucking sit there and say to me that this shit's all in my head, oh, it's all in your mind, Google's not censoring anybody, then why is it that Reporters Without Borders Human Rights Watch, Amnesty International, and numerous other fucking non-governmental organizations have condemned Google Corporation for their censorship and human rights violations all over the fucking world. Let's just look at the example of fucking China, okay? Google was responsible for working with the Chinese government to block access to certain websites that Chinese dissidents want to use for their movement. Like, for example, if they, they uh, want to use um, social networking in order to organize and Google would fucking deliberately block that shit. Now, you might ask yourself, well, why China, and why not any of these other, you know, like, why doesn't Google do the same thing in uh, Egypt or in the Egyptian protests? Well, the reason is because of the economic interests between the government of China and the government of the United States, which Google might as well be a fucking part of. Google might as well be a branch of the fucking United States government for all intents and, pur and purposes at this point. The Supreme Court has ruled that Google and the NSA do not need to tell us what their fucking connections are and how much information they're sharing, which tells me they're sharing a lot of fucking information. So if, if you ask me, Google might as well be the fucking uh, cyber branch of the NSA. And, you know, people get concerned about the CIA conducting domestic operations and the CIA conducting propaganda operations against the American people. What the fuck do you think Google is doing? Okay, they're working hand in glove with the fucking United States government. You think they're not conducting fucking propaganda on us? Think again. And that's what this censorship is really a part of. It's a part of that propaganda campaign where they're trying to pare down the political discourse to a manageable level that they can fucking control. And anybody who has a political ideology that steps even one iota outside that, your video is going to get censored for some kind of copyright bullshit. Google is using copyright law as a political weapon to fucking censor speech on the internet. And I don't want to hear any fucking bullshit arguments about how, oh, they're a private corporation, they can do whatever the fuck they want. If you don't like it, get your own website. Look, that is bullshit. Look, it, the point is... Every fucking square inch of land in this country is going to be privately owned before very long. There's not going to be one square inch of fucking sidewalk that you can stand on with a bullhorn and a fucking picket sign and get your voice heard. Because some fucking jackass corporation is going to own that property. There's going to be a Starbucks behind that sidewalk that doesn't want you having exercising your fucking free speech in front of their store because it's bad for their fucking business. So we gotta fucking stand up for that shit if we care about free speech. If we fucking care about free speech, it's time to be it's time to stop being concerned about the rights of fucking corporations, about these conceptions of, of collectivist rights. Collectivist rights don't fucking mean shit. Individual rights fucking mean everything. And you people need to wake up and realize that shit before it's too late, and we don't have a voice left, and we're all sitting in the gulags, wondering what the fuck happened. So Matt Larson 10, I just want to tell you right now, no fucking kind of glitch happened. This was not a glitch. You got censored for your political fucking speech. And I stand in solidarity with you, and everybody else that this, ha this has happened to across the political spectrum. I don't care what your beliefs are. I don't care if you're left-wing, right-wing, collectivist, individualist, anarchist, uh, uh, fucking libertarian, Nazi, whatever the fuck you are. I don't give a shit. No matter who you are, I stand up for your rights to say whatever the fuck you want on YouTube and elsewhere on the internet. And anybody who doesn't, you are the fucking problem. You are the fucking enemy, and you're gonna be dealt with. Expect us, bitches. 
This has been The Smooth Terrorist, and if you enjoyed this video, then please download it, re-upload it, mirror it, parody it, make it your own, because the folks at Google can't censor me unless you let them keep it smooth.